Welcome to Extra Throttle House, where the reviews made up and the points don't matter. <laughs> I'm Thomas. And I'm James. <laughs> and today we have an RS7. We do. And we've reviewed the RS7 before, but it was winter, we had snow tires on it. We're now in California and we've had some time with it, some extra time. Compared it to an old one. It was very fun. Yeah, we, it. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Um, this is... The, an we RS6. Have, no, it's an, it, it is an RS6, yeah. so it, it, but it has the twin turbo V8 from the RS6. Yeah. But the, it's not a wagon. So it's, it's basically an a RS6. And, and it costs more money. So you get less storage and it costs more. Right, but it looks cooler. And, and, it, and it, it's six, seven comes after six, so it's one more number. But its center of gravity is probably lower. Technically, I would imagine. Sports car! Yeah, um, that's probably so true. So yeah, this is about 118 US starting yep. and 130, 125 Canadian, somewhere in that realm. Um, it is here in beautiful glacier white, or as Thomas would say, glacier. Um, <laughs> glacier. Yeah. Uh, I think <laughs> we've got the black optics package as well. So we've got these 22 inch rims. They are huge, aren't they? I think, I think Audi have kind of nailed the white with the black oh, accents. This is a really great looking vehicle. Yeah. I think it looks better in a wagon. Yes. Yeah, I would go for the one. But but this is still a really really cool looking. I love this little blue bit in the headlight. It has something to do with the lasers and stuff. But I think it just looks so neat. Sciencing so hard right now. Yeah. L lasers. How do they work? Um, this looks like a 407 transponder. I'm pretty sure that I've said. If you're from Toronto area, you know what I'm talking about. I'm, I've, I've said that before in review. I think there are transponders elsewhere. Anyway, <laughs> uh, lovely looking car. Go for a drive? Quite expensive. Yeah. Uh, one more thing though, sorry, okay. while, while we're standing here, yeah. this now has a full rival on the road that wasn't there when we first reviewed it. It does? For the same price, the Audi e-tron GT is now available. Oh, is it the same price as Same this? price. Ooh, that's interesting. I haven't driven it yet. So, so. The, so the question is, is a twin turboed V8 with 591 horsepower enough to beat out a rapid EV? I don't know, we'll find out who drives, we rock paper scissors? I'm really good at this. Yeah. I've, I've won every rock paper scissors we've ever done. If you done. follow us on Instagram, we did a story with this, and Thomas beat me, and he got the nice room in our Airbnb. I have to get in the zone because I, I get inside your head, and then I figure out what you're gonna do. Are you ready? We're gonna we should rock paper scissors every extra to house from now on. Okay. All right. All right. So, no, so it's, maybe not. So it's one, two, three, go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Okay. One, two, three, go. Sorry, what was this? You lift, it's it's not you? rock, paper, scissors, karate chop. No, it's, rock, it's, it's, a little, it's an envelope. <laughs> okay, ready? Right. Ready? One, two, three, go. So, that's one down. That was easy. Why are you so good at this you game? Do you want to do best two or three, or? No. I'll get, okay. Ooh, nice rumble. It's got a great sound. Okay, now we're in the canyon. So, full dynamic drive, let's continue. Um, Buttons, dynamic mode and sport. Transmission. Ma manual mode, I've decided. That's what I want to do. So this is not a canyon car. This is a highway crusher, but. Yes, 100%. When, that guy in that fit oh, is hustling. He Whoa. is moving. Woo! See, he's having more fun than we are. That's what you need for canyons like this, a right? A Honda Fit? Said yeah. No one be, has ever said that. That would be so hilarious. Yo, fits are great if you like. Right. Bottom a bit. So, full disclaimer, we've just jumped out of a Mercedes EQS. Yes, we did. And immediately, the front end of this is so much more intuitive. See, I give Audi crap for steering all the time. Um, but honestly, like, I can place Ooh, this car. That's a nice sounding downshift. <laughs> Good noise, too. I really like that. I like these cars. I think that it's so easy to put them next to a Mercedes or a BMW and then be like, cool, it's slower. Yep. It's, it's, it's you know, not as composed in the corners. It doesn't lose the tail. But well, this one does a little bit. Like, you, like, I will, if I remember to find the footage, I will overlay a, a shot of me doing a like 140 kilometer an hour slide in an RS6. Right, but it's not, that's not a playful slide. That's a, a no, that's a track <laughs> driving yeah. slide. Did you turn my heated seat? You son of a. I promise I didn't. I don't believe you for a nice segue. Second. This has wonderful haptic buttons. Oh my God, my uh, bum is so warm right now. Um, <sighs> moving on. The, 
the Audi infotainment here and these screens have kind of aged really well, I think, so far. Yeah, they look good. It, it, it all comes down to those black levels, right? Like, it just looks like a part of the too much piano black in but the But I car. still get, I get on with the, 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 the initial click. I don't know, there's a lot to get on with here. Yeah, I'm no, I really it. like that. And this, you're right, it's not a Canyon car, no question, but it, it's, it's having no issues doing what I'm doing right now. And you know the ride is stiff, but it's not. Well, you're too in the stiffest stiff. mode. And this is on air mode. suspension, so it's it's adapted to dynamic. Pop my ears because we're going down a lot of altitude here. I think the biggest problem with these cars I have is the price. The RS cars have a way of being quite expensive. You know, 130,000 Canadian. It's a lot of money it's for a something lot of like. Money. Okay, you can boast that it's an amazing highway cruiser. So is an A7. So. It's, yeah. it's, it's a struggle, but, yeah. but they, they've given but us... But yeah. people take these and they put a crazy tune on them. Which we've experienced. We've experienced. We them. actually, the one we reviewed, we got it detuned back to stock so that it would be an authentic review. Yeah. But he had a crazy tune on it before we did that. So, yeah, you can make these cars nuts. And you thanks, can make them really Thanks to the all-wheel drive. They, they just, just go. They become rockets. Yeah. Is that a drone up in the sky? Are you increasing the production of Extra Throttle House? I would never. I'm disgusted. I would never. All right, the, the other question then, the e-tron. So we, somehow, we haven't got behind the wheel of the e-tron GT no, I mean, RS. I've RS GT, very good. RS GT e-tron, RS GT. I've heard that it's better than the Taycan on which it's based. That is, that is interesting. So I think it's... As, as good looking. I don't know if it's better looking. but it's I, I disagree with everything. I think that the uh, Taycan is better looking than the e-tron. Oh, okay. Yeah. So so how much do you think you would miss the engine in this? Well, to be fair, right now, since this is mostly a downhill canyon kind of run I'm doing here, I haven't used the engine that much, so I wouldn't miss it at all. But like when you're really on it, I do like the sound of this car a lot. That said, some of these modern, like crazy high-tech German V8s are so synthetic in the way that they sound that I don't feel like I'm being robbed of that much when I have a really good, effective EV powertrain. Well, when, on the next slightly uphill, give it a little downshift. Take us, and then this is a downhill. Okay. <laughs> boom, boom. It makes it, yeah, it makes the noise. There is a ton. Oh, there's an EQS. There's an EQS. Weird. There is a ton of power in this, and, and it's like, it's one of those things where people get obsessed. You know, 591 now seems pithy, because someone out there is saying, well, a Model S Plaid is doing 1,020. So yeah, this doesn't win for that. But when are you using that power? Yeah, I know. And this has massive Audi brakes on it, so it can stop. Can we try that? No, I already feel sick. <gasps> The brake pedal actually feels great, nice and solid. Just canyon roads can make you feel very sick. Especially if you're a passenger. Yeah. No, I'm having a good time. This is a, this is a very well sorted car. It's not hyper engaging like a, like a BMW. It's not like super edgy. It's not incredibly precise like a Porsche, but it, it, it balances the comfort that it can do on the highway so well with what it can do in here. It gets the job done. This would be a perfect getaway car. Yeah, well, you get away in three and a half seconds to 60 miles an hour. Yeah, it's great. No, it's, it's a very good car. Okay, so to conclude, looks good. Yep. Spacious. Yep. Very fast. Yep. Good steering. Works in the canyons, works on the motorway, highway. Great curb appeal. Yep. Superior, Audi superior to BMW, Mercedes, and every other brand in the world. Uh, what? No, what? <laughs> no, I don't, think, I don't think it is, to be honest. Um, the build quads in here is incredible. Oh, they did, I forgot one thing, actually, because we're cowboys out here. I didn't bring my Audi hat. 